This is a tour of Boomers in Vista, California, and this arcade is very aesthetic. It looks like it's from the 90s, so there's a bunch of neon lights everywhere, and they have a lot of rare games upstairs, so we will take a look at that after this. But first, downstairs, there are a bunch of redemption games. First is Connect for Hoops, and over here is a Whack and Win for 1,000. Right here is an interesting claw machine. It's called the Acme Crane Company by Benchmark. It's a very old school claw machine and it doesn't look like it's working, but there's a timer that's up there and you can, um, they used to have um, a joystick where you can actually like move it around like in a circle like this and rotate and that's how you would grab the prize, which is super, super cool. Unfortunately, it's just a standard joystick, but this is a very, very old game, very, very rare. Like I cannot believe they have this. And here is Red Hot. This one's 81 and that one's 233. I don't know why they're different. And right here is a quick drop for 605. Right here's another old game. It's Seawolf. It's a very um, old school. I believe it's from the 90s or early 2000s, I believe. And it's 75 cents here. It's not bad. And right here, there are two of the Super Shot basketballs. There is a Down the Clown, an Iceman, a Water Blast race game but that's not working but super super rare um, here is a down the clown it's funny because this one's 250 and that one's 500 you obviously want to play that one uh, right here is a milk jug toss there's two of the old school fireballs and a basket fever basketball ski ball machine which is very rare i've only seen that at a couple other places uh, right here is a laser frenzy it is a laser maze that you go in and hit buns, I guess. And here's some more basketballs there. Here's um, two NBA hoops. It looks like they put neon lights in it, but it's an older machine. That I've never seen it look like that before. Usually it's like the newer machines that look like that. So very strange how they modded these two out. And right here is a Typhoon. And over here is a Monster Drop Extreme, or I should say two Monster Drop Extremes. There are two total, and this one has zero bonus balls. That is very, very bad. And over here is a Johnny Rockets. This is very, very cool that there's a Johnny Rockets and a whole eating area inside of the Boomers Arcade. It's literally inside the arcade, so that is very, very cool that they have that. And if you guys want a little bit of history, this Boomers used to be a Bullwinkles, which is almost extinct, but there are a couple Bullwinkles that I actually went to. So it is very cool. They have this sign, Vista California, from a bunch of old school paintings. But here is the old showroom where the Bullwinkles animatronics used to perform. It's very cool. They since have gutted it out, but this used to be the old stage. So it is very, very cool. Very quiet too. But literally that used to be the stage right there. So for those of you guys who are interested in history like that, that is the old Bullwinkles showroom here in Vista, which is very, very cool. You usually don't see stuff like this very often. So I just wanted to show you guys that this Boomers in Vista still has the old classic feel of what used to be the Bullwinkles. And that used to be the stage, it's very, very cool. And since then they've kind of updated it, but they kept most of the stuff the same, which is very awesome. And I'll show you guys that later, especially upstairs too. It's very, very classic. We're gonna continue on with more of the games. So here is a chocolate factory. This one actually has the candy in it. That one's ready to go, but this is a very, very cool claw machine. It's honestly one of the most addicting and well unique concepts ever. So you grab the candy and this little um, pusher, I'll activate it. So this pusher pushes the candy after you win the candy from the claw machine and it pushes more candy inside of the prize chute. It's a very, very unique concept and definitely super cool for this older style machine. And here is a Raptor Captor. This is the original Raptor Captor too. That is crazy. It's not the remake or anything. This is an old school, original Raptor Captor. And it looks like it's working too. It's only 25 cents. That is super, super awesome that they have this. Very awesome. And we're gonna take a look at the game card prices. They don't charge anything for cards, which is pretty good. And here's the values. So you have to spend 25 or 30 to get a bonus. But the bonus is $10 extra for 30. That's not that bad at all. So that, um, Raptor Captor would be like less than 20 cents per, per play. That is very, very good. And over here is a Star Wars Battle Pod. Here's a Grand Piano Keys. And here's a really, really rare game, Flaming Finger. So obviously rigged, but you trace a path 
through here and you try to get it to the end before the time runs out, but the timer is obviously going to be very, very fast. Like it'll speed up at the end is what I've heard, but I have not played this game in a long time and I still have it, which is super, super awesome. Uh, right here is Nerf Arcade and right here is a Sync It two player version. Over here is the Pac-Man Smash Air Hockey Table. And right here is a Deal or No Deal. It looks like there's a free play, but that's gonna take forever to play on video, so I'm gonna leave that for someone else. Right here is a Black Hole. And this is super, super awesome. They have a Time Buster here, and it works too. So if you guys don't know what this game is, this is the prize redemption version. There used to be a version called Stop the Clock that was at Dave & Buster's, but it's literally the exact same concept. This one's just called Time Buster, but this was one of the first arcade games that I have ever played in my life, like a long time ago. And it is super, super cool that they actually have one here. And I have not seen this game in probably like a few years. This is the only place that I've actually seen it. Super, super awesome that they have it. Hopefully they keep that around for a long time. And right here is a Strike It Rich. We've seen this game at a Dave & Buster's before, but it's only 25 cents for 500. It's a very, very hard game though. And here is Tower of Tickets. This is a newer game. Uh, they have a 1,000 roll in it and it looks pretty pretty doable. There's not a lot of rolls in there. And usually when there's more rolls, it makes it harder. When there's less rolls, it's actually easier. Right here is a Crossy Road for a 1,000 jackpot. That's really, really good. And here is Pop It Extreme, another pretty rare game. I don't think the balloon is in there right now, so it doesn't look like it's actually working. And here is the Temple Run, very, uh, very iconic game. And here is Let's Bounce. They have a Let's Bounce here, which is very interesting. I didn't think they would actually have this game. And over here, there is a Cyclone, only 25 cents per play. I'm glad they kept most of the prices like the same. They haven't increased them all. Um, here's a Wheel of Fortune. It's just like the Cyclone. And here's another Cyclone. So very cool how they laid it out like that. And over here is a Pirate's Hook game. Over here is a Wizard of Oz coin pusher, but this is the two player one. This isn't the six player one. It's only two sides. Very interesting. I don't see those very often. And right here is the world's largest Pac-Man. Here is Barber Cut Light, which this game is kind of rare, but it's $3 per play. I don't know why. That is gonna be very, very hard to get. Here is a Ticket Ring Claw Machine. Here is X Prize. It's a very interesting game that I've seen at a couple places, but this is the only one nearby. So the concept's simple, swipe the card, 50 cents, and this little light will rotate around and you press it on the X, stop the light to win the bonus. And when you hit it on the X, it spins this wheel. And if this wheel lands on the prize, you win the prize. If it lands on the values, you get tickets. So it's like a Wheel of Fortune, but a prize version and a ticket version. It's actually a very unique concept. Here is a stacker. This is the giant stacker version. And right here is a Space Invaders Frenzy. I'm going to see what the jackpot is real quick. So it's 500. Pretty good. Here is a Slam a Winner Extreme. I don't think I've seen a working Slam a Winner Extreme in a long time. This is a very, very nostalgic game. Super glad that they have this as well. Here is an all aboard racing game. Or not a racing game, it's like a, it's a slot machine, I should say. It looks like a racing game, but it's like, it's like a slot machine, but it's kind of skill or kind of luck. I have no idea. I feel like it's rigged, but it, it's almost skill because you actually stop the, the hands right here and you stop three of them, you win a thousand. Very interesting game. Here's a Fruit Ninja FX. There's three sides, which is pretty cool, but they're not working. Here is a spin and win, very old school style spin and win. That's not working, but still very cool. And here is a circus ball drop. Here's another kiosk. Over here is a deluxe face place, a space balls. And over here is a treasure quest. Right here is a fishbowl frenzy. The jackpot is 50. I don't know why it's like that. It's a dollar per play. I feel like they accidentally made the values lower or they got it from like a Chuck E. Cheese or something. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I definitely remember it used to be like 500. There's no way that's right, but oh well. Over here are a couple more games. So there is a Slam a Winner, another very, very old game. It's not working, but still awesome. And here is a Big Bash Wheel. 
So now we are going to take a look upstairs because they kept some of their oldest games upstairs and they have a pretty good collection. So if you guys are into the classics, this is a very, very cool place. So you walk up the stairs, there's two sides. They have like neon tube lights. Like this just screams 90s arcade. It's so awesome how they kept it like this and they haven't like remodeled it yet. So very, very cool. I just want to show you guys that. It looks very, very awesome in here, especially at night that they have all this. So we're gonna take a look at these games. So first, when you walk upstairs, there is a Capcom Street Fighter Alpha 3. That is awesome. Here is an SNK vs. Capcom. I've never seen this before. This is crazy that they have these. There's a Neo Geo. There is a Tekken 5, which is extremely rare as well. There's two original Fast and Furiouses. There is a Sega Super GT. That is super rare. There's two Dirty Drive. These are like more modern games, but two Cruise and Blast, two Batmans, two Super Bikes 2s. Like these you see everywhere else. This is rare. Sega Strike Fighter. That is super cool. I think Gameworks used to have some of these games too, but they've faced them out everywhere. And luckily they have kept them here. It looks like they're all working, or at least most of them are. Looks like these are broken, but these are two Hydro Thunders. This one's working, that one's not, but still very awesome. There's two Super Bikes, the original ones. There are two D3, initial D3s. That is awesome. It looks like the left side is working, which is very good. There's two Cruise and Exoticas, which is another super rare 90s racing game. There is a Dark Silhouette Silent Scope 2. And behind that, there is another Silent Scope. This is actually the same one. I thought it was the original one. At first, it looked like it, but they have two of them, the Silent Scope 2s. They have two of those. They have the Halo game. That's newer. They have a Star Wars trilogy. They have a DDR Extreme. It's only 50 cents per play, too. That is so good. That is literally, like, so good. Here is a Gauntlet Legends, and here is Operation Ghost, uh, Guitar Hero, and here's some really, really classic games. Galaga, in the original cabinet, there's a credit, so I'll, I guess, um, I don't know if it's actually working. It says there's a credit, but still very, very cool otherwise. Only 25 cents, they kept it at the same price. Uh, Miss Pac-Man, in the original cabinet, also 25 cents. Like, this is just heaven. This is heaven for like old classic games. This is super, super cool. And I believe it's um, working just fine, too. Like, it looks like it's, um not that old it looks like it's in pretty good condition here is a neck and neck it's like a horse racing game i've never seen this before either only 25 cents it looks like there's six of them six buttons and it's just a button game so you just pop over the stuff that is super super cool and here is a transformers a let's go jungle the walking dead a dead storm pirates a jurassic park a terminator salvation an Area 51, this game is a classic. I used to see this all the time, but they have an Area 51. They have a Third Strike Street Fighter. They have another Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And they have Mortal Kombat 4. And another Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes. That is super, super cool. This is a really, really good collection that they still have here at Boomers and Vista. They kept some of their new racing games, some old racing games. They have a mix of everything. And this arcade that it's in, too, is very, very nostalgic with all this neon light, like I said. This is a very, very cool place. They have a mix of basically everything. And I'm glad they didn't just mix everything from upstairs and downstairs. They kept all the ticket games down here, and they put all the really classic games up there. So we're going to take a look at the prizes that they have here. Um, the prizes are pretty mediocre. This place is more about the fun of just being able to try all these new games because these games are so rare this is unbelievable it's super super cool but we are going to take a look at the prize stand it's pretty limited like i said so here's some candy tootsie rolls and just random stuff like that tootsie rolls are 10 not bad they have a scooter for 8,500. there's some more candy and toys right here so tootsie rolls are 60 they have some skittles few other things it's like they have a dark board they have these things down here they have capsules interesting a few other things uh, there's some more prizes right here so more toys and stuff these are like the more expensive ones there's a boomer's beach ball very cool 
there are some keychains for Harry Potter for a thousand. Well, that's that's not bad. There's some like magic, magic folding cube. There's some gummy bears. They're four fifty. That's kind of on the steeper side. And a few other things. And there's some stuff on the wall. So there's some puzzles. Paw Patrol for nine hundred. Uh, dice. Some moon blasters. Flying top. Uh, jumbo playing cards. Those are always fun. There's a Uno. They have mini lights. They have some more just like random stuff. And here's some plush. Some ninjas and Avengers plush. A few other things. There's a glow in the dark scrapbook. And a giant narwhal for 7,500. And mini table tennis and that rocket launcher. So overall the prizes are kind of lacking. There's not a lot to choose from. But like I said, this arcade is mainly for just the atmosphere that it's just so cool. It is so retro, it is so unique. This is Boomers here in Vista, California. If you guys are in the area, I highly recommend giving this place a visit. It is not good for tickets at all, but honestly, you're not gonna see arcades like this ever again. This is really, really cool overall. So overall, Boomers Vista, it's a pretty unique place. I like it a lot, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want more arcade videos, and I will see you in the next one.